This lesson, we learn how to find the voltage equation for charging capacitor. Once we know the voltage equation, we can get the charge equation. The charge equation is almost the same. This is the voltage versus time curve for charging a capacitor. We're going to spend our entire lesson to tweak to get the equation of this curve. We want to find what's the equation that describe this curve. Remember, capacitor is just like a container. Last lesson, we used swimming pool. This time, we use a box to learn how it works. We want to put lots of marshmallows, the electrons, into the box, which is the capacitor. At the beginning, when the box is empty, it has plenty of room available. We can put marshmallows anywhere in the box. But after we put lots of marshmallows into it, less space is available. It's getting harder and harder to add more marshmallows. When the box is full, we may even need to push the marshmallows and squeeze them in order to add one extra marshmallow into the box. This is similar for charging capacitor. At the time we just begin charging the capacitor, the voltage increases rapidly. But after charging it for a long time, Voltage won't increase that much. Eventually, it is a constant number. If we visualize this curve, the curve increases rapidly at the beginning, and eventually it becomes steady. This sounds like an exponential function. The curve for charging capacitor is related to exponential function. This analysis is very important for us to figure out the equation. First, let's plot an exponential function. Step number one, plot a function y equal to e to the power of x. The y-intercept is when x equals to zero. y equals to e to the power of zero, this equals to one. Step two. Draw the curve for y equal to the power negative x. The y-intercept is still x equals to 0 and y equals to 1. Flip previous curve respect to the y-axis to get this curve. Put a negative sign in front of the entire function. That is, y equal to negative e to the power of negative x. The y-intercept is x equals to 0, y equals to negative 1. Flip the curve we obtained from previous step respect to the x-axis. The shape of this curve looks very similar to the ideal curve. When we charge an empty capacitor, the voltage increases from zero volt. We need to modify this curve so it can originate from zero. The y-intercept is negative one now. We can shift our entire curve upward by one. The new curve will originate from zero. This can be done by adding a one to the previous function. So the new function is 1 minus e to the power negative x. And now this is that curve. From this curve, we can see it starts at 0 and approach but never reach to 1. But for the charging capacitor curve, we want this curve starts at zero and can reach to any positive value. We adjust this equation by multiplying it with a positive number a, where a is the maximum number this curve can reach. The final curve looks like this. This curve begins at zero and approaches to a. The function of this curve is y equals to a times 1 minus e to the power negative x. This capacitor's charging curve has y and x coordinates. However, we need a curve that is in term of time. 
we can simply replace the x by t over the RC time constant, tau. The curve of this function is same as previous function. It passes through 0 and approaches to the maximum value a. So the final function in term of time is y equals to a times 1 minus e to the power negative t over rc. As you can see, this curve is time dependent. The y coordinate is the voltage or amount of charge across the capacitor, and the x coordinate is the time. But be careful, unlike the curve I drew here, the voltage or charge always begin with zero, not a negative number below y-axis. This is the formula you need to remember for charging capacitor. Now let's do a final recap. The voltage across capacitor at any time equals to the total voltage Vmax times 1 minus e to the power negative t, where t is at any time, divided by the RC time constant. The curve below is the voltage versus time curve. The curve originated at zero and approached to the maximum voltage Vmax. This formula is the backbone. It is like a template. If you remember this form, we know the voltage and the charge equations for charging capacitor. Below are the formulas for charging capacitor from zero volt or zero charge. The first equation is for finding voltage across capacitor at any time. That is Vc equals to Vmax times one minus e to the power negative t divided by the time constant for total charge stored in a capacitor at any time, Qc equals to the maximum charge, Qmax, times 1 minus e to the power negative t times Rc, where t is any time.